good Wednesday evening. Been a chilly one out there, overcast conditions throughout the day. You can see that out there on our tower cam. Taking a live look at the Texas A&M campus there in the background. 51 degrees here in Bryan College Station. That northerly wind making it feel a touch colder out there and just to the north of Bryan College Station. Temperatures have fallen into the 40s, 49 in her 48 degrees up there in Waco. And again, those northerly winds making it feel like it is in the 40s across the entire area, expecting the winds to continue into the overnight hours, gusting between 10 to at times 20 miles per hour. And again, while that's not too strong to really blow anything around, it just makes it feel rather uncomfortable, unfortunately. So you probably need that light jacket if you're going to go out and walk the dogs or take the kids to the park. Now, nothing showing up on satellite and radar across the Brazos Valley other than that cloud cover, of course, but we're not talking about any precipitation. Notice though pretty big dip in the jet stream upper level storm system working its way into northern parts of Mexico and you can see that there is some moisture associated with this across the southwest because of the strong lift that is associated with it. This is going to impact the Brazos Valley beginning tomorrow. So Right now, the setup showing that strong upper level low working its way into northern Mexico. This is eventually going to work its way toward the east as we head into Thursday and Friday for the Brazos Valley. So that's going to increase the moisture as a surface low develops along the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to pump up a little bit of Gulf moisture here in the Brazos Valley. Notice a little upper level storm system breaks off from that main trough, and this is going to station become stationary over northern parts of Mexico. This will eventually work into the Brazos Valley early next week. But notice that we do see an upper level ridge starting to build to our west. This is going to help our conditions become extremely nice over the weekend. Temperatures going to soar into the 70s by Sunday with mostly sunny skies and light winds. So it's going to be a weekend that you'll want to get out and enjoy with above average temperatures. But keep an eye on this storm system going to work its way north and east as we head into Monday. Going to slightly weaken though, so it's not going to be a large storm system. But I want you to focus on the desert southwest. Notice this system here. This is what's going to begin to impact us as we head into Tuesday night and Wednesday. This is eventually going to work east into parts of Texas and Oklahoma. That's going to send an Arctic cold front into the Brazos Valley, really dropping those temperatures. So it's going to be quite the shocker compared to what we're going to deal with Sunday and Monday with temperatures soaring up into the 70s. Let's take a look. At future radar again, nothing going on overnight into tomorrow morning. Could be a couple sprinkles across the southern zone, but Thursday morning looking like it's going to remain dry. Temperatures going to be in the low to mid 40s. But again, with those northerly winds going to feel rather uncomfortable. Notice we start to see an uptick in that moisture heading into Thursday afternoon, but notice it's spotty in nature. This isn't going to be a continuous rain throughout the entire day, but just kind of that annoying pesky shower passing here or there. And that'll continue into the evening over overnight hours, but again, notice most of the precipitation does stay across coastal parts of Texas just south of the Brazos Valley. But again, we still have that chance to see spot showers throughout the day. So you want to have that rain jacket as well as that umbrella handy. Notice that a cold front starts to sneak its way in from the north end of Friday. That's going to make sure that it dries out here in the Brazos Valley. Now taking a look at those impacts tomorrow, going to be cool out there, going to be in the 50s, wind chills in the 40s, not expecting any fog, but we do have a low chance for some storms, best chance for storms will be across coastal Texas and a pretty good chance for some isolated rain showers. Winds going to eventually lighten up as we head into the evening and afternoon hours tomorrow. So we're just mainly looking at those spot showers. But again, with the cool temperatures going to make it feel rather nasty out there. And then we do see the warm up heading into Sunday before a big cool down on Wednesday. Well, Saturday's looking real nice. Saturday's looking really nice. Yes, yeah, Saturday and Sunday going to be nice temperatures, upper 60s, lower 70s. So get out and enjoy it because it's going to be cold Wednesday. I have that high of 50 on Wednesday, but it's possible it needs to be lowered several degrees. Um, right. Just a few days out, so we're going to continue to tweak that over the next few days. Thank you so much. What do you got next for sports? How about women's basketball for the Aggies? Riding a three-game winning streak at home tomorrow night. It's daddy, daughter night at Reed Arena, so it should be fun. And hey, some more good news.